Well, hello for my family. We're excited to be here. Obviously, something's a little different this time. We're in color and video. We're moving up in the world. We uh, obviously <clears throat> we've seen great success in the last series we did uh, talking about cleansing. I'm Shane Leffler, the director of product development. This is Dr. Brent Vaughn, the director of health information services. We uh, are going to talk more about glucose metabolism this time. It is a five-part series, so we'll start with kind of the intro today, and then we'll move through. The next three weeks, we'll be talking about Germar, Catalyst Plus, and Glucoach. And then at the end, we'll wrap it up with kind of how to use them and, and the benefits that, uh, that we'll cover during those different weeks. Um, at that point, I think we'll, uh, I'll turn the time over to Dr. Vaughn, and he can fill in the rest. Great. Thanks, Shane. So when we talk about glucose metabolism, we're talking about three organ systems in the body. The first of those is the intestines. And we've asked our brother Daryl here to help us out with some demonstration. So your intestines are their first contact for glucose within the body. After it's ingested, it goes through the stomach and then into the intestines where the glucose is absorbed. Now, there are a number of enzymes involved in that process and a number of different facilities the intestines have to aid in the absorption so that that sugar can be broken down from starches into individual glucose molecules where it can then be absorbed into the body and distributed to the organs and the brain and everywhere else where it's used. After it goes through the intestines, the next organ is the pancreas. It's kind of hidden up underneath some of these other organs. You're not easily seen through the video today. But the pancreas is probably the most key organ in glucose metabolism in your body. It produces two different hormones which manage the way that your body utilizes that glucose. The first and most well-known one is insulin. Now insulin, you can think of it as kind of like a key. When your body cells need glucose, that insulin goes up to the cells, turns the key, opens up the gates so the glucose can go into those cells. Without that insulin, it's much more difficult. Now, muscle cells are a little bit of an exception to that, and Shane will talk about that in just a sec. But every cell in your body needs that insulin to help move the glucose from the blood into the cells. The other hormone that the pancreas produces is called glucagon. It does the exact opposite. It increases the blood sugar. So it takes the glucose that may be stored in your muscles or in your liver and pushes it back out into the blood. And this is the hormone that's released when you're scared or you need to exercise and you're getting that, you need that extra burst of energy. So the pancreas produces those two hormones which help maintain blood sugar. And then we have the muscles which help use it. Shane, will cover that. So as Brent mentioned, the, the muscles are a little different. They're the third organ that interacts with glucose metabolism. But they don't require insulin. Basically, they can take uh, glucose out of the blood at any point and incorporate it. They also have their own storage facility for that in, in, in that they, they store glycogen as a way to uh, be able to function at any point they need to. So those are kind of the three organs that are involved in glucose, glucose metabolism. And that wraps, wraps up the first part of our five-part series on glucose metabolism. Come back with us next week when we'll talk about Germar in detail and give you some information on how it works and why it was put together the way it was. Uh, keep in mind, as you use these products going forward, make sure that you talk with your doctor ahead of time and that this product's appropriate for you at this time in your life. Again, thank you for your attention, and we'll see you next week. See ya.